Hunton. And how about this guy? There is no other player like Travis Hunter in all of college football. And the Colorado Buffalo star is here and will join us live when you come back to College Game Day. And the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Colorado Buffaloes, led by the spectacular Travis Hunter and his quarterback, Shadur Sanders. Travis Hunter, Shadur Sanders, those two are must see. Shadur looking downfield, sets his feet, fires it, and so touchdown! Travis Hunter, he's Superman, he's not human! I don't care who's out there guarding me, I don't care what you're doing, I'm gonna get open. He is the best player in college football, hands down. Shadur Sanders has done it again! He's so darn good that we don't give him the credit that he deserves for some of the things that he does. Yeah, they don't even mention him for the house. I just want Travis to win, of course, and that would be almost like I won because I threw him the ball. <laughs> And how great is it to have one of the great stars in college football, a guy that, unlike any we've seen in a number of years, Travis Hunter from Colorado. So, Travis, I'm told you're the favorite for the Heisman Trophy. Now you've struck the pose. What, what's the significance, what's the importance to you of finishing up strong and having a chance to win the Heisman Trophy? Uh, just having my teammates there for real it means a lot because I can't get the Heisman without my teammates. I need them to do their job, and I got to do my job. So we just got to keep grinding and heading in the right direction. Travis, let's talk about that Heisman and why you are the odds-on favorite. You're doing stuff that nobody in the history of ball has done. I think you're averaging like 135 plays a game, 140 plays a game. Now everybody thinks you can have a package. Your body won't be able to hold up. How do you feel at this moment? And I know you were bass fishing yesterday. How are the lines? How are the fish? <laughs> well, first, we're going to start the fish. I mean, it's cold now, so the fish is kind of in a bond. They don't know what they want to do. They don't know what they want to do. <laughs> yeah, it's always uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's not me. You know, I've been over, over top of them trying to get them, but they don't want to bite anything I throw at them. <laughs> it was kind of stressful and hard, but later in the day, yesterday's sunset, I was able to catch a lot and catch an amount, a good amount of what I wanted to catch. And uh, my body is holding up pretty well. I mean, I've been doing nothing but training and uh, recovery the whole time. This year, I've been locked, so locked in, I didn't get a chance to fish. Yesterday was my first time fishing in about four or five months, so. <laughs> I respect that. The commitment to your body is a big deal. You're a professional athlete already. I can't wait to watch it continue to grow. Hey, Travis. Yes, sir. Thank you. Travis, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. And I see you on social media. You kind of go into Coach Prime's office sometimes. You, you take some shoes. You got some hot J's on now. Did you steal those from Coach No, nah, I can't Prime? steal these from him. He, oh, okay. Nike, he a Nike guy okay. now, so I can't get no Jordans off of him. But when I get to his house, I steal whatever I can. I got you. No, you guys got, you guys got a great relationship. Just express to us what he means to you on and off the field. Uh, he's like a father figure to me. I mean, I went to his house yesterday and – Whatever I wanted, he was able to just let me get it. I took it if he didn't want me to take it. <laughs> we have that great bun. It's like a, a father and son bun. I know whenever I need something, I can go and ask him, and I'm pretty sure I would get it 100% of the time. Yeah. So, Travis, I need you to coach me up on something. I got Because I had a couple guys through the years that could have played both ways. I could never figure out how to get them to practice in a way that they could go play in the game. So how do you prepare every week to play both ways? I uh, try to get at least 10 hours of film, you know, not including what we do at the school. So you got to watch a lot of film and practice. When you practice, it's got to be full speed. No, nobody can stop you. I mean, Coach Prime tried to stop me every day. I go out there and practice, and I, I won't let him. Because so I only you just get split to... practice half the time on offense, half the time yeah, on Whatever defense. period we have, because he do a great job of letting us go ones versus twos. So if I'm going ones on offense, I'm playing against the twos on defense, but I'm playing 100% no matter who's in front of me, and I'm not going to get tired. So I just keep going and just be focused. Yeah, that's, that's what great, great competitors do. Yeah. 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 For the fans who have not Incredible. watched Incredible. him or watched Colorado, I mean, it's one Charles Woodson was a great defensive back, and he would sprinkle in some receiver. You're playing offense and playing defense. We all look at your, your future. We assume you're going to be the number one corner, but – which do you like better? Do you like playing uh, receiver? Or you like playing don't corner? Box. <laughs> I'm just nah, kidding. See, a lot of people try to put me in a box if I got to pick a, a position, but I've been doing this my whole life. Yeah. I've been doing this since I was playing Little League football, so all I know is to go play both ways. So it's not up for me to go pick up and see what I need to play. What are you play. more natural at? You feel? I know you're great at both. <laughs> you feel? <laughs> well, I feel more natural at just both. I mean, I've been just doing this same. since I was it's little. Just, yeah, yeah, it's ever it's since I started being able to have a trainer, yeah. I just trained on each side of the ball, so it's just been pretty simple and easy for me. And I think 
wherever the NFL need me or whatever team I go to, wherever they need me. Is, Do both. I'm yeah. just going to go out there and just play ball. Good for you, man. <laughs> Travis, everybody talks about the phenomenal athleticism, but you're a football IQ savant. I mean, there's times where you drop in the zone, you get off your guy, make an instinctive read and pick somebody off. I mean, oh. your football IQ through the roof as well. I think that's why everybody's so excited. Whenever you decide to go play for Coach Prime and then you guys go to Colorado, Colorado hadn't done a damn thing in college football for a long time. We got a new stadium. We got a new job. Jumbotron. We got a couple of Heisman contenders. We got Kai Sinat thinking of celebrations. For you guys. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, what is it like in Colorado right now, knowing just like we just showed, everything is still very much in front of you with this 12 team playoff? Uh, we just got to go out there and play ball. We know our fans are going to back us up whenever we need them to back us up. But as a team, we know we got to go out there and finish and c- continue to compete at a high level. And we just got to play ball. We got to go in the stretch with W's. Not Who's your favorite uh, concert after a game in the locker room? Uh, I pretty much don't listen to music a lot. The only time I listen to music is game days because I was just trying to work out and, you know, the fans are always yelling at me. Yeah, I can't <laughs> do stuff, so. <laughs> Thank you for, like, can I get a photo with you? You're a sensation, man. Yeah, you should have his favorite former Heisman Trophy winner. That's what you should <laughs> Get a photo. Get a photo right now. So, yes. I know who mine is. I love that Doug Flutie. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, great to see you, man. Best Good. of luck the rest of the way. Look Thank forward you. to seeing what the Buffs can accomplish. Big road game coming up to love it. Hey.